So first we made a fabric that was supposed to be impossible to make. And that was by design. It wouldn't be worth it if we just made the same thing as everybody else. Then we made a product that basically shook the industry. And now to wrap it up, we have gone vertical. We've been plagued by the question of when are you guys going to have more inventory? <laughs> That's no secret. Starting up the cut and sew here will be the last link in the chain we need to secure in order to have that control over every part of the process that we've been seeking. Going vertical means that we start with the raw material and we turn the raw material into an intermediate product. And then we turn that intermediate product into a finished product. And it's all within our own operation. And that's something that no other brand has done in recent memory. No brand is doing this right now in the United States. And we're doing it. For something to be made in the USA and be able to sustain that and, and not be forced to outsource it, that, I think that's a big deal in itself. It may give some promise to other small businesses also that you can compete with uh, you know, the big brands out there. Yeah, no one else is doing this. I mean, textiles have largely left the states for a long time. No one's doing anything like this. And we're showing also that you can, that someone is stepping up to do that here in Kings Mountain, North Carolina. That's what I'm excited about. I think if we do this, it'll prove to a lot of these other small cottage industries that they can do something similar or, you know, just grow bigger outside of what they originally thought. And that just, again, I think brings home how, how innovative our, our vertical integration is right here, that we're not gonna have to rely on that anymore, that we're, we're gonna be able to completely control that whole process. And I don't think a lot of other people can do that. So those are the kinds of things we're doing when you're not looking at us on Instagram and Facebook and, and on the web. I mean, we're literally, we're trying to build something that has legs and staying power. Because in the end, again, we could just be a brand and we could outsource everything and maybe it would work, maybe it wouldn't, but it just means so much more that we control the process and we control the products and we can take feedback straight from our, our customers. We're hoping that our influence can inspire other brands to think outside of the box and to stop shoveling people the same old products packaged different ways. And that really is something that we would find satisfaction in if we can have that influence on this industry. I had one person tell me that you're crazy as hell. I told him he's crazy as hell. And when people tell me I'm crazy as hell, that's when I know I'm in the right direction.